Hello and welcome back to my channel Concept. This is Anjali. In our previous videos, we have done with addition. So, what is our today's topic? Our today's topic is just opposite of addition. Here, you can see I have one, two, three, four apples. Now, what? If one of my friend came and he takes away two apples, then how many apples are left with me? One, two. Yes, I am left with two apples. So, what have I done? Yes, I have subtracted. This take away is called subtraction. So, today our topic is subtraction now what is subtraction as i said it is just opposite of addition what do we do in addition in addition we put things together whereas in subtraction we take away things or numbers so, subtraction is just opposite of addition. Now, let's understand subtraction with some numbers. 9 minus. This is the symbol used for subtraction which is called minus. 9 minus 5 is equal to what? Now, how to subtract? We will count forward after, after 5 up to 9 as 6, 7, 8, 9. How many lines are here? Yes, you are right. Here, 4 lines we have. So, 9 minus 5 is equal to 4. Now, let's understand few terms of subtraction. 9 is called minuend, 5 is called subtrahend and the answer which we get after subtracting two numbers is called the difference. So here in this example, 9 is the minuend, 5 is the subtrahend and 4 is the difference. Now let's understand properties of subtraction. What is the first property of subtraction? When 0 is subtracted from a number, the difference is the number itself. Let's understand this with an example. 8 minus 0 is equal to 8. As you can see, here 0 is subtracted from 8 and the difference is number itself. That means 8 itself. Let's have another example. 14 minus 0 is equal to 14. So you have understood. When 0 is subtracted from a number, the difference is the number itself. Let's move to another property of subtraction. When a number is subtracted from itself, the difference is 0. Let's take an example. 834 minus 834. What should be our answer? You are right. We get 0. 0 is the difference here. Let's have another 4 digit example. 1245 minus 1245. What should be the difference? Yes, you are right. The difference is 0. Because we have subtracted 5 from 5, 4 from, from 4, 2 from 2 and 1 from 1. So you can see when a number is subtracted from itself, the difference is 0. Whether we have 1 digit number, 2 digit number, 3 digit number or 4 digit number. Now, we should understand that we can check our subtraction problems by addition. By the use of addition, we can check our sums. But how? Let's see an example. 
7 minus 2 is equal to 5. Now, what to do to check this? Yes, I said we have to check the subtraction sum by addition. See, when I add 5 with 2, I am getting 7. That means, always remember to check the answer to a subtraction problem. Add the difference to the smaller number so that you get the greater number. Here, the difference was 5 which is added with the smaller number that means 2 and we are getting 7 which is the greater number. So, we get a method of checking subtraction by addition. Now, we should always keep some points in our mind while solving subtraction sums. We should avoid some common mistakes. 954 minus 42. We cannot write like this. This is wrong way of writing any subtraction sum. So what is the correct way of writing a sum? Yes, 954 minus 42 should be written like this. This is the correct way of writing a sum as we should all never write the smaller number from left. Always start from the ones place. We should write the number from ones place, then we move to tens place, then we move to hundreds place. So that's all for today. Tune OneCept for more updates and if you have not subscribed my channel, do subscribe OneCept and you can ask your queries by comment. See you in next video. Till then, take care. Bye-bye.